ATCR Movers Review. After reading all the, all the Google reviews from customers' complaints, I felt the need to write my review as ex-employee of ATCR Movers. Majority of ATCR Movers are workers he pick up from the break corner at the church's chicken on Church Street. Most of the people in the break corner have nothing good to say about ATCR Movers, and in light of their complaints, I experienced firsthand as a driver. There's a lot of important details about book jobs that don't make it to the driver until the customer gives the driver the full details when we arrive. I am going to give two examples to explain what I mean. The first example, me and my crew was at lunch. I received a text saying the job we had it to do would be eight hour job instead of six hour job. At this time it was 5.30 p.m. That means we would get off around 4 a.m. Father's Day morning. When we arrived to the apartment, was around the corner from where we stopped for lunch when we seen the three flights of stairs we had to walk up just to get to the front door with no elevator in sight. The customer explained everything. You guys are loading everything in this apartment, then going to his girlfriend's house to load all of her stuff in the rest of the space, then unload the entire truck at another house. After finding all of that out, I went downstairs to the truck to contact James about the details he left out about this move. James confirmed everything that the customer told us. Me and one of the worker helpers just did eight hours uh, on another move, now doing another eight hour move after 30 minute lunch. That helper refused to do the job. James told the worker he would pay him extra hours, the second helper we had to pick up after doing the first move. He didn't want to work all night because it was his birthday. James ended up coming out to the job site because the door to the back of the truck was off track. He had to fix that for us to get the back of the truck open. To my surprise, Jane helped us do the load. The other two helpers end up in a fight that turned into one getting fired. James had carried everything down these three flights of stairs, then they helped bring the boxes out the second house. We finished the job at 3.30 Father's Day morning. When I got to the truck, I told Jane to let him know I would be in I would not be in after getting off at 3.30 in the morning. Driving to drop the workers off, then taking the truck home, you would think James would cancel or find someone else to do this 9 a.m. job, but he didn't. That is when I realized James don't care about his workers. That was proven to me in a lot of ways. I made it home at 5 a.m., woke up at 8 a.m., text James okay, then seeing my pay was not on my car. I took the cash from yesterday's job to go run my errands at 9 a.m. Jane texted me asking what time will I be ready to start today's today's job, then paid me the rest of my money. At 9.30 a.m., I didn't respond to none of Jane's texts. He short, he short the helper out his hours and then keep his word on paying the helper the extra hours he said he would for doing the job. The second situation was my breaking point. I was on another eight-hour job, three workers. Jane told us we was moving two beds from one house to another house across the street. We arrived to the house. The customer told us we had to move the two beds from one house to another house across the street, then a simple ten sets of bunk beds. And then we all looking confused. Jane never told us we had to assemble ten sets of bunk beds. That was my time to say enough is enough of not getting all the details about each job. The third situation was I told the customer we, we take car payment only. She informed me that the receptionist that booked the job told her she could pay half on car and the rest in cash. I contacted James. He confirmed the same car payment only. Now we have a bit back and forth on speakerphone. The reason James want car payments only is in the, in the past, some drivers got the cash and quit without turning the money. James take his time with paying his workers. You get the job done, he, he don't pay you until 11 p.m. or sometime before your shift the next morning. How you expect to find good workers doing stuff like that? While working at the labor pool, if my money on my car within 30 minutes after I email my timesheet, it would be hard to pay. I remember one day I worked, the, I worked, the helper got off at 4. James deposited the worker funds on my car after I got off at midnight. And I had to find a helper to give him his money. He good with paying the helpers on time. The ones that have the cash out had to wait forever to get their money. After each shift, 
When Jane deposits other workers' money on my card, he don't cover or reimburse you your money for all the fees to get their money. I also noticed all the manual trucks don't have backup lights and only have one headlight, and the AC don't work in neither truck. The one headlight is a big risk driver's take that could lead to a ticket. Every vehicle is supposed to have two working headlights. Also, all the outside mirrors on one truck loose. Every other second you have to fix the mirrors. I noticed one review a customer said the first time he used ATCR movers, the workers had to have it do the hand trucks that is made to carry washers, dryers, and refrigerators with the safety straps. Nowadays, each truck has regular hand trucks. I was fed up with repeated texts and screenshots about complaints and damages when I am off and home. I am on my time. Wait until I return to work. Then text or talk to me about issues. When I leave work, I leave all the work at work and don't want to receive or hear nothing about work on my off time. I had an accident in one of the AT Star Movers work truck. That is when I found out Jane's license is suspended. The registration or that registration and insurance papers are not inside none of his trucks like they supposed to be. Not having the papers led to me getting two tickets. I was overfed up with the fact that the same daily pay I was making at the labor pool at the taxes I was making under the table that shouldn't be. When working under the table, you should make more money in less time. I'd rather be at the labor pool getting taxes taken out my check. That way I am still putting into Social Security. A lot or most of ATCR movers don't have moving expense. James trained them through other moving companies' YouTube videos. My first and only under the table job was okay experience. It could have been a lot better if things were more put together. Will I work another under the table job in the future? No. There's no way in the world you can get me work another job under the table. This is my review on working my first and only under the table job in my life. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and comment below.